video in these uh, last series. This is going to be kind of creating a little bit of landscape. So giving some land around your house. It doesn't look like it's floating in the, uh, in the world. So to do this, we are going to go to our site plan. Um, every one should have a site plan. It's just something that's standard in there. And in our site plan, uh, what we are going to do is we're going to go to the visibility graphics and override. And one thing you're going to want to do before you start anything is you're going to want to turn on doors. Uh, the only reason for that is we want the garage door and we want the front door. Uh, outside of that, um, you can turn off other things to kind of help you out of the way. So, uh, what we're going to do is in the tabs up here, we're going to go to one that's called Massing and Site, and we're going to select a topo surface. And in the topo surface, what we want to do is we want to select the outsides of our entire house, and then kind of four points around it. So in the place point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start in the upper left, and I'm going to go around. Before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the elevation to be negative 10 inches. The reason for that is I don't want to push it right up underneath the door. Uh, I want to actually, generally your, uh, your, your subfloor or your flooring, that your actual like floor that is underneath your doors, underneath everything, underneath your finished floor, uh, the ground comes right up underneath that. So you're going to set it to negative 10 inches. And then absolute elevation, that's fine. And what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and you're going to click all the corners. You want to make sure you're clicking the corners of the foundation walls of the house. So I kind of have to zoom in here to get the correct corners. All right, so I've got all the way around, might look a little funky like this, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add about four points out here. Uh, when I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay, and I'm gonna go to the 3D view, and I'm gonna see what I have. So I kinda have some barren land. Uh, first thing I'll do is I'm just gonna select this barren land, and under material, I will select this little material button, and I'm going to search for grass. Now grass comes up for me because I already loaded it, but if it does not come up for you, just click this little Show Hides Library panel and add it into your project. So I'm going to select this to be grass, and there we go, we kind of have a nice green color. Now what we need to do is we need to create a few subregions. One's going to be for the driveway essentially, and the other one might be a little sidewalk going to that front door. So to do this, I'm going to go back into site. I'm going to go to subregion and I'm going to create a subregion outside of this and you can see you can actually snap to this surface. So first I'll just kind of create my driveway and I want my driveway to be a little bit bigger than where my garage door is. So I kind of start right on the wall and this is a foundation wall so you gotta be careful. So I start right on the wall and I'm just gonna drag that down to here. Grab another line, go from somewhere over here drag that all the way down and I think I didn't get right on that wall so I'm going to put it right back on that wall and I just need to close this region so there's that region from here to here might be a pretty long driveway that's that's okay so there we go we gotta have our long driveway I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay and this time for the material um, you can think about, okay, you might have an asphalt driveway, you might have a concrete driveway. Uh, there's a lot of different things that you can do. So um, we can have cast in place. Let's see what else we have here. Um, exposed aggregate we don't want. Broom finish. Yeah, we might want some broom finish. Let's try and see what that looks like. So I'm going to add a little broom finish to it. And let's take a look at what we have. Okay. So we kind of have our concrete driveway, a little bit of a broom finish on there. And now I'm just going to make a kind of a concrete path to go into my door. So again, I will go back to my site plan. I'm going to create another subregion. And this time I'm going to kind of just draw out an area from here to here. I'll do the same over here. From here to here. And I might just switch this up a little bit, kind of make it look even. 
Uh, what I'm going to also do is I'm going to give it a little bit more of a nice look by creating what's called a fillet arc. So I'm going to create a fillet arc between here and here, and then I'm going to set that radius to be 2 inches. And you can just click again, and then you can do it on the other side as well. So about 2 inch radius comes around. I'm going to select OK. Um, oh, it says that there's a little bit of a gap here, so I'm going to go find that gap and just close it. All right, let's try it again. There we go. I'm going to select the little category. I'm going to go the concrete. We're going to do that broom finish again. And let's take a look at our house again. All right, so there we go. You know, come park in the driveway. You can get out and you can walk around. It's not the greatest looking thing, but uh, there is something there to use. Uh, finally, what you might want to do is maybe spice up your house a little bit or the land around it. And you can do that with a site component. So, like I said, back in the massing and site, you can click site component. And you can bring in or load different things. So, for example, uh, where I found this was, all right, where I found this was planting. So you can actually go into planting and you can add a whole bunch of different tropical trees, conifers, uh, deciduous, fall trees, maybe some other tropical trees. Um, oh, these are tropical plants. And you can add a whole bunch in there if you like. So, for example, I have the um, our, I have a shrub, and the shrub I picked was a uh, lilac. And I could say, oh, I'm going to add just a few of those to the uh, kind of the side of my garage here. So I can just go ahead and place a few trees down. And this does take a little bit of computing power so um, right now my putting those in there actually does slow down my laptop quite a bit um, we shouldn't have too much of a problem with the computers in 105 or 106 or 109 but you can place a few trees there uh, we could place another larger tree so for example let's get out of the shrub area we can see all the different shrubs we have here we can go to how about American birch Let's see here, or what is this American beech tree? Um, I could put a tree on here. So, uh, I can let you go a lot further with that. You can put bushes in the front, you can put other trees around there, but kind of think about what you would want it to look like. Someone drives up, you don't want just a bunch of random plants hanging around there. Uh, I'd probably put another lilac over here, maybe make three lilacs, uh, maybe some bushes right here next to the door. You can do a few different things. So, there is kind of a tutorial on creating your landscape very quickly, landscape uh, with some trees, driveway, and a little concrete path going up to your front door.